Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Modern Redemption Druid only playthrough. Let's get back to it. I read the comments from the last episode. I got some good tips. And uh, let's start off this episode by trying to fight the boss. What the hell is the name of the boss? I don't remember. I thought somebody sold the items to fight this boss. I'm trying to fight Thorn again. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Heart of Thorns. Heart of Thorns. I swear somebody sold it, right? Or was it we fought the Keeper and the Keeper dropped it? I don't know. That's fine. Actually, it's kind of not fine. You know what? Let's do a different thing then. We got all these staves here. All these woods that we can turn into staves. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Ebon wood. Boom. Palm. Boom. We already have an acorn one. I need a mahogany one. I don't know where the mahogany one is. Okay, how do you make the mahogany one? You obviously need jungle spores, of course. Boom, we got our jungle spores. Now, is that all the wood staves I need? I have no idea. Boom, we got these ones. Boom, we got this one. I didn't really get to use this one too much. The ancient wood one. Oh, well. What else do we need? I think we have all the staves. I think it's seven, right? Yeah, seven of them. And then we need small souls, dark fragment. Easy. I could get my hands on those easy. Uh, hopefully, I still have small souls from the last episode. I know I used a bunch. There we go. And boom, bada bing. King Oak's great staff. Boom. And it's lively. Thank God. If I had a bad reforge, I would be a little upset. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's see it in action here. We got the left click. Oh, it does like everything that those previous stabs we all combined together did. And then the right click, swift cast, stream shot, druidic embrace, warmth. Combined effects of all pixies. Wow. Very, very nice. Pretty damn good. All right. I also have a squirrel. I want to obviously make the uh, spirit squirrel. Bottle, lost soul. Easy. Man, a lot of things need lost souls. Okay, I'm kind of running out of space for weapons. I'm not going to lie. I got a lot of fun weapons to use here. So it's kind of hard to, you know, keep some space. You know what? Let's get rid of uh, this. Drew Shuriken, you did me good, but like, I don't need you right now. Uh, I'm going to move this stuff in here. And then, boom, we, we should be good. Let me see these uh, squirrels, though. Wow, look at them go. Look at them. I like the ones that stand on two feet. Yeah, I want to fight Thorn again. The only thing about Thorn is that it requires life crystals to make another one. Uh, and stingers and vines. Jesus, okay. That's fine. We should still be able to make one. I swear to God an NPC was selling it. I swear I remember seeing an NPC selling stuff. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it's a certain time of day they get sold. I don't know. I just feel like I swear I saw one. All good. We do have everything we need. So, this is not the only boss we want to kill to get more drops. There is the I Cthulhu that also dropped something. Uh, I believe both of these bosses drop seed bags. That's what we wanted from them. Let's do it though. Let's take on Thorn again. Thorn, not too bad of a fight. Pretty much because we took it on like way later than we were supposed to. But let's do it. You know what? Let's activate the right click. Oh my god. We got like, what is that? Like five fairies above our heads? Six fairies above our heads? Beautiful. Or six pixies? You'd love to see it. But let's bring out the big guns, alright? It's time to bring out the big guns. I don't play around when I bring this thing out. This is where the real stuff is. Hold up. Take out the double jump. Put on our uh, spirit of life that we got from killing the chicken. We don't need a double jump. I'll take the damage over the double jump. Actually, honestly, the double jump is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'll figure out something. We will replace one accessory. I don't know. Maybe the boots. Maybe. Oh, I know what I could do. Actually, I don't know if I have the right mod installed to do it. No, we should have Louis AFK installed. And with Louis AFK, I think if we hold 30 of the same potion, we get that buff permanently. That potion buff permanently. So, you know, if we do that, we hold 30 like Swiftness potion. I don't really need Hermes boots, do I? We won't get the sprint, but we'll still be fast. But yeah, let's take on one more thorns here. Or one more thorn. Singular. I was talking about it in my Discord. You know, Modern Redemption has some really cool sprites. But at the same time, it has a lot of sprites that you look at and you're like, what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> like, when I look at Thorn, I'm like, what the fuck am I looking at? He looks cool. It still looks cool. But, like, you put Thorn in a thumbnail, it's like, bro, what the hell are you looking at in that thumbnail? So it's kind of hard to, like, find good thumbnail ideas for this uh, series. <laughs> Because even the Keeper, the old Keeper looked cool. Where the Keeper had, like, a scary face. But now the Keeper has something over her face and, like... She doesn't look that cool in the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, what did we get? Did we get the item we're looking for? Uh, 
of course not why would we <laughs> i guess i'll just fight as many as i can how many more can i fight one more i don't think i have enough stingers to fight another one jesus i think i started with like 27 stingers come on thorn just just drop what i need it's as simple as that just drop what i need please and it didn't drop what i need again oh my god i've been having this problem i've just been having terrible rng in terraria even in minecraft the minecraft summoner series i'm doing has been so bad for example the uh one of the spirit mod streams i tried to fight one of the earliest bosses in the spirit mod to get the summon that it can drop and you know the drop rate's the same as everything else i think i fought the boss like eight times and i still didn't get the summon drop my rng has been terrible it's just it's so atrocious recently i don't know what's going on but yeah let's get to fighting the eater of worlds i want to kill the eater of worlds for uh, obvious reasons to progress the game forward so let's get to that i'm gonna make a little arena underground get all that set up let's get to the money i'm ready here this should be an easy fight it's the eater of worlds bro i think the eater of worlds is even easy and well nah maybe not eternity but maybe just master mode for the worthy but let's get to it how do i want to fight it here i gotta think huh actually oh no i don't have a fuck i don't have the one weapon i actually wanted to use which was like one of the thorns vile thorn bag or vile thorn seed bag that would have been nice to just have like vile thorns everywhere but it's all good. We got something that pierces just as well. The bunnies. Where's the squirrel? Take out the squirrels too. Fuck it. Take out the... Do the squirrels explode? Is that what I'm seeing right now? I am taking a lot of damage. I've just been bouncing off of the boss the whole fight. It's looking good. Hold up. Put on our uh, accessory. That's why we've been taking so much damage. We're not wearing our accessory, obviously. There we go. New record. World record. Don't look it up. I have the fastest one. There we go. Boss is complete though. Let me grab all the garbage laying around hopefully none of it's in the wall i don't see anything i think it would glow we are good to go let's get the hell out of way hold up don't forget the heart lantern don't forget this is precious to me hold up so we got something that's precious to me i just used a bunch of them i saw this over here i saw a heart crystal so let me just grab this you know i would like to fight the eater some more i forgot to buff i keep forgetting i'd like to fight the eater some more but not right now and i didn't waste any potions either so like that's the that's the good thing about not buffing there let's get to the main activities though the main reason why we fought the eater obviously was for the shadow skills all right yeah like i said the shadow skills we want those because there's some goodies we can make with it uh we got some sleep powder uh we got this right here the blood root seed bag the main thing i wanted to make let's make it right now before i even look at anything else because i've been wanting the blood root seed bag for a minute ever since i got my hands on it when did i get my hands on it like an episode ago yes sir and it's fruitful thank god it's fruitful all right let's see what it does holy throw it really far oh that's what it does okay i remember this one i remember this one now <clears throat> hold up let's hit him right here Oof, got to their asses all right what else can we make though there's an armor set uh this is not the cold-blooded armor set which speak about the cold-blooded armor set i should probably make that there's the haunted ice stab which requires a big lost soul i don't know if i want to use my big lost soul can't even make whatever the hell this is you need ancient matter manipulator okay so there's not too much just a new armor set some sleep powder that reduces defense that sounds like not bad but yeah let's make the cold-blooded druid armor set which i believe just costed bars and ice crimson knight bars or demonite bars and ice what the fuck is crimson knight? i don't know i just made that up sounds like something superman is weak to let me just make sure though i'll make one bar just to make sure that we're getting the right set here yeah okay does cost a good bit of demonite all right what else can i make with demonite oh i can make this demonite staff all right cool let's just let's just make a bunch of demonite then i do want to fight the eye of cthulhu but like i don't have any eye of cthulhu spawners so maybe the next night maybe i have to go make some of my own which is very rare in a playthrough i usually have like a bunch of them just from chest loot all right do i have the ice Oh, yeah, I do have the ice. You know, Game Raider stays iced up. Come on. Boom. Gold blooded druid set. Let's see it. Uh, we're going to lose. Ah, that kind of sucks. We are going to lose our spirit levels. We have plus one spirit level, which is better than nothing. But we are going to lose some spirit levels. This is sad. No more really good spirit stuff. I'm sorry. We got. I have to do it. So our defense, I'm pretty sure. Oh, our defense went down. Okay. What about our damage? 19 on that okay it's exactly the same what's the set bonus seed bags inflict frost burn and extra mobility on ice okay the frost burn sounds pretty damn good that sounds really good so that's that's a plus side there all right let me uh let me do some inventory management here actually before we do that boom let me make this prickly demonite staff let's see it in action whoa that's a good projectile right there what's the right click 
Makes me shoot faster. Okay, pretty cool. It's uh, really short though. Okay, it gives me an, a mobility enhancement when in the corruption. Uh, I think we can get rid of the moon flare one then, because that moon flare one was pretty much our projectile one. But now we got this baby. Not to mention we got this one too. But yeah. Uh, let me let me just organize some stuff and get ready for the next clip, whatever that is. I am being assaulted by a chicken man cultist. Let's kill him. Get him out of here. Cause he's supposed to drop something. Okay, he didn't drop it. But I think the chicken men cultists, they're supposed to drop this right here. Strange contract. And then that starts the uh, the chicken invasion. Very nice. Yeah, I'm out here looking for a meteor. I heard an actual chicken. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe a cultist. Yeah, I'm looking for a meteor out here. I'm trying to make the anomaly detector, which starts the plague timeline. Very, very cool how Modern Redemption phrases it. Honestly, probably my favorite thing about the mod is the whole plague and laboratory stuff. So honestly, I'm hyped to start it up. But yeah, it requires a meteorite. That's what I'm trying to find. Also, I did make some suspicious looking eyes and I do have a heart of thorns. I just found one chilling out here. Very nice. Daytime is here. You know what I actually got my hands on for once? Nightshade, beautiful. So we can make this nightshade seed bag. And here's an enemy to test it on. Whoa, that's pretty cool. What the heck? Kind of wish we found this earlier. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the moss one. The moss one, it just throws moss. It's cool and everything, but like, I have no reason to use it right now. Yeah, four treasure bags. Let's pop these babies open, please. Okay. I like, I don't know, man. RNG, I gotta bring it up every time. But like, four I could do lose, and I didn't get a single item or the single item i'm looking for it's fine not really i that's annoying let me make 10 silk here because we need 10 silk for a certain something a certain upgrade i want to make here that involves our cross i believe spiritual relic so we need our cross 10 silk two lost souls the big ones which i do have now two of them uh it's kind of annoying that i'm gonna use them right now because these things seem pretty damn rare but like i guess i don't really have too many things i can craft with them besides this and maybe oh, that's about it <laughs> So actually, I'm fine with using them because I do want to get my uh, spirit level up here without having to wear a whole armor set for it. And then we need the small souls, which I only have two of right now, but that's all good because we take our ancient golden coins here or whatever, and then we buy from the fucking zombie looking dude. Here you go, bro. Thank you, sir. I'll farm more of them later. Don't worry. Boom. Spiritual relic. 3% increased UAD damage, increases spirit summons by one is spirit level plus two. Beautiful. So this is pretty much back to normal almost. It's just better than it was before, which is honestly good enough. But yeah, let us go ahead. We're going to fight Thorn here. I did do a goblin invasion off camera. Uh, there wasn't really anything new about that. So I just went ahead and killed all of them. And it was really easy with this seed bag right here. But yeah, Thorn. Let's fight Thorn again. Maybe he'll drop the seed bag. He probably won't. Uh, more than likely won't. You've seen my luck with the I could do like the horror them. I didn't get the seat back. Not to mention what the other three that i've killed earlier in the playthrough so that's seven in total i think and i never got that seat back drop okay it's fine uh thor and loki beat my ass right now maybe it's because i'm playing kind of sloppy and not using my best items here of course why not just use my best seat bag all right please oh my god this game is hilarious sometimes haha -ha. all right we got this though anomaly detector begins the infection oh i'm ready for this i have no idea what this like offers in terms of gameplay we're about to see right here we're about to see can i just use it right here like let me see use anomaly detector begins the infection storyline okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it let's get it little boss strange portal does it just fly around what does it do do i beat its ass okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna get to ass beating in a second here whoa 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 he's shooting a lot of projectiles okay it's not that scary let me summon in the boys the pixie boys and let me beat this portal's ass whoa the infection shall begin whoa 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 i did not expect a part two already i thought that was it literally i thought that was it but no we, we got more to do let's get to a seat of infection now i don't remember okay i kind of do remember wasn't it like a xenomite crystal was that what it was called that you fight i think this is different from the original obviously the mod has changed a lot since the last time i played it so it makes sense it makes sense that things are different here I'm a little bit worried. I'm kind of out of mana. Oh, here we go. Get the mana going here. We do need like decent mana regen. Maybe I should carry mana potions with me because this this class does use a good bit of mana. Luckily for us, a lot of minions spawn in with like most bosses that we fight. So at least we are getting some mana back. But maybe I should start placing like stars in a bottle and stuff like that just to help out a little bit more. OK, 
because it gets a little scary when I don't have mana. I have to use the weapons that are a little bit less effective. Maybe I should try some of the nightshade, spawn some of them in, see how they do against this boss. We're taking a little bit of damage. I'm gonna heal up here. Run out of mana again. Let's just let's get dodging here. Okay. There's a tell for that, but I'm just really bad at reading it. <laughs> here it comes. No, that's not the dash. I thought a dash was coming. Look, there's just hearts chilling over here. I'm gonna go pick those up. Why not? All right, the fight is almost over here. Boom. You've awoken the infection now, but don't worry. I'm sure we can handle it. Thank you, Chalice. Seed of infection has been defeated. Creatures start getting infected. New entries have appeared on the boss checklist. I've never seen that before. Is that like a new thing that happens? I, I don't see anything new. Infected eye, maybe. I swear there's a lot more like mini bosses. Yeah, like a lot of stuff doesn't show up on here. It's kind of cool that they like added that in. So things pop up on here. Like for example, the king chicken wasn't on here until I fought it. And now it is. And now the chicken invasion is also on here. Very interesting. All right. What's in the treasure bag? What kind of goodies do you have to offer? We got Xenomite shards. We got a yo-yo. Xenomite yo-yo. Uh, we got an infected mask. Cool. And then we got the expert accessory, which increases crit and improves vision. Okay. Not the worst. Again, I feel like this goes for all mods, but like usually expert accessories or expert drops are kind of eh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Compared to most vanilla ones, most of them are kind of eh for all mods. I'm talking about Thorium, Calamity, Modern Redemption, every mod, like 90% of mods, the expert accessories are not really worth it. All right, Xenomite Shards, holding this may infect you. Hold up, do I get radiation? I know there's radiation in this mod. I don't know how it works though. Uh, okay, some interesting stuff. Looks like stuff that I'm not able to craft for a while. Hold up. Oh, it doesn't do druid damage with the hell. Any, like, any anything useful for me. This is made out of Hellforge. Look at that. Grants immunity to knockback, 5% increased druidic damage, slightly increases the chance of finding rare and epic drops. Whoa. Now that's interesting. That sounds like something that should be an expert drop. Because <laughs> that would actually be worth playing expert. Okay, cool. We got some goodies from that. So I think probably the best way we round this episode off is if we fight the queen bee and i think that'll be a good stopping point for this episode just so we're getting progression done probably won't fight the old one's army unless there's items from it um queen bee good stopping point and then next episode eagle crest golem skeletron and then we'll finish up oh yeah chicken division too we'll finish up anything we need to do before we start hard mode in that episode too uh but one thing i want to do here i don't know if i have enough wood for it i want to make the next armor set now i know you don't have to specifically progress through armor sets like this in this mod but like me personally when i check out a new class i usually like to explore all my options in terms of armor and weaponry so i'll try my best to get my hands and stuff you know if rng is kind of in the way of getting some of those items might be harder i know people want me to go to a marble biome wherever one is and farm a certain weapon from there I could try. I, <laughs> I don't like my odds because, you know, we haven't been able to get any of the weapons I've been trying to get today from the bosses. But I could still try and farm for that item in the marble biome. But yeah, next armor set here is our defense go up. Thank God. Uh, What do we get? We got 24 damage here. 26. Okay, damage went up. Uh, set bonus throws seed bags faster and thorns effect. Being in the corruption increases plant lifetime by 10%. Nice. That is pretty cool. I could farm more of the eater, I guess with this set but there you go it's slightly better than the cold-blooded one uh even though like like i said you don't exactly need to progress through armor says how i'm doing it i'm just doing it just because all right i'm gonna go fight the queen bee or get ready to fight the queen bee i'll be right back queen bee time let's get to it accidentally use my right click with my staff as i always do apparently it's my bad i always accidentally just right click and have the staff out hold up i'm just gonna get too much not exactly like the most space to fight the queen bee it's all good hold up i can make a little bit more space there you go i will work with what i have you know what oh you know what might be good here the fucking nightshade might be good here let's see kind of i don't know it's not really hitting me. i can't really see her when she goes off camera on the left side it's like completely pitch black over there i can lose this fight honestly this arena is garbage <laughs> already had to use a potion i have like zero room to dodge maybe i have to really work with the room i have here oh i thought she was going for a b attack nope she's just charging them you know why do we have a queen bee in a hornet infested jungle you know i'm asking the real questions i know original sprites of the queen bee were like a giant hornet but it looked really ugly so they changed it i'm actually glad they changed it <laughs> 
but you know i feel like they should have changed the hornets to just like giant bees or something wasp i don't know match the theme more but i guess you know we get the best of both the worlds with the hornets and queen bees all right this fight actually isn't that bad i, I was definitely getting my ass beat early on but now i think we're chilling I think we're finding a rhythm now. Let me go ahead, boom. Do I not have the right click? Oh, 15 seconds and I can right click again. Uh, we'll summon in some thorns when she does this part because that will help like crowd control a little bit here. Do it again, might as well. I remember I read a comment about like a dude getting pissed off with how I use the word crowd control. He's like, game readers, you're using crowd control wrong. It is a MOBA term where you're slowing down a group of enemies with an ability. And it's like, bro, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna use the word however the hell I wanna use it. Let's use the right click the fairies are back in action that's what they're called right or the pixies i keep forgetting it's pixies the damn pixies from uh fairly odd parents holy shit i'm dying i am dying kill it quickly please i can only last for so much longer she's dashing so fast please kill her this is not a joke anymore Oh my god, okay, that kind of got close. I really didn't feel like fighting another one since we got that close. Thank god we won that. <clears throat> Alright, I don't know if there's anything that the Queen Bee drops for us. Probably not. Alright, but I guess that will be it for this episode. We made some good progress. We started an invasion that's gonna affect our world till the end of the playthrough. That sounds like a good thing, right? But yeah, I guess next episode we will focus on getting a bunch of more weapon upgrades. Again, keep on leaving comments. They're helping me uh, hopefully i read the comments though before the next episode but yeah hope you guys enjoyed i'll see y'all the next time in the i'll uh i'll see you next episode there you go